Hello, hello. How are we all today? So I'm on a little bit later than I thought I would be today, but I'm going to talk to you about another mineral. So yesterday we talked about calcium. Today I'm going to talk to you about magnesium because magnesium and calcium actually regulate each other and magnesium is what helps us, well one of the things that helps us to keep calcium in our bones. So magnesium, it's 99% in our cells. So this is why a hair tissue mineral analysis is great because it gives us a picture of what's been going on for the last three to four months, depending on how um, quickly your hair grows. Um, magnesium is one of those awesome minerals that is involved in mm, almost 500 enzymatic reactions in the body. So you could say it's pretty important. We need it for our cells to function. So as I said, it's mainly inside the cells um, we need it uh, to to be able to contract our muscles. We need it to be able to transport nutrients in our digestive system. So I'll come on to some other things that it's, it's um, really important for. So it's key in our cellular metabolism. So if we don't have magnesium, we can't produce energy because we need it to uh, break down our glucose. So in the glycolysis cycle and also in the citric acid cycle. And this is what makes our energy in the form of ATP. Um, as I said, it's involved in 500 enzymatic reactions within the body. So it is involved in pretty much everything that, that we do. Um, it regulates our metabolism because it helps to clear calcium and it helps to clear insulin from the blood. So as I said, magnesium and calcium work together. Um, but when we've had an intake of, of sugar or starches, um, we release insulin from our pancreas to help break that down. And sometimes that can build up or it can just sit there or our body doesn't have a great clearance rate. So what magnesium does is it helps to clear that out as well. And it also helps with what we call cell membrane permeability. So this is our cell membranes and what allows, what helps to get nutrients in and waste products out of the cell. So what, what's crossing the, the cell membranes. And it's also really key in relaxation. It's known as the relaxation mineral. So you've probably heard of this with Epsom salts and Epsom salt baths, which are absolutely fabulous. And it's great for decreasing your inflammation as well. It's also known as the heart mineral. So if you've had palpitations or uh, you know if anybody's had a stroke or a heart, they should really get their magnesium levels, uh, a cellular level checked because it is the primary calming mineral and it is an intracellular mineral. Um, when we're really, really stressed or really anxious, we deplete our magnesium levels quite significantly. So in cases of stress you, and, and anxiety, and when you're faced with kind of those sort of events, you may want to um, supplement with magnesium. And it is obviously highly needed within the body. When we have deficiencies, we get things like osteoporosis, osteopenia, which is thin of the bones, depression, uh, PMS, um, so all the cramping that goes along with that, uh, things that go uh, wrong with the heart and the vascular system. We also get really sensitive to noise as well. Um, we have adrenal insufficiency, so our adrenal glands don't work as, and function as well, so our stress response is, is altered, and we also can get high blood pressure and anxiety from that as well. Um, when we have too much of it, it can cause uh, diarrhea, particularly in the citrate form. And it can lead to fatigue and lethargy because uh, we're, we're not producing energy. Our cellular mineral balance is off kilter. And um, it can lead to low blood pressure as well if, we're, if we haven't got enough magnesium in the body. Um, so the best supplements that I recommend, if you can't get anything else, magnesium citrate will do, but take it to bowel tolerance. So basically that means if it gives you diarrhea, lower the dose. Um, but glycinate and malate are probably the best ones that I would recommend if you are thinking about it. Epsom salt baths, fantastic. I have uh, a client who goes for floats um, every now and again in flotation tanks. They put Epsom salts in there. So that's fantastic as well. And also transdermals. So if you find that your feet or your calves suffer from cramping, well, there's obviously a deficiency in the diet, but what you can do is get a spray and you can spray this on so it's absorbed by the skin, which is obviously um, semi-permeable, so it lets things through. 
and you it will relieve cramping almost instantaneously so i know in the past i've had cramping in my in my feet especially when when you've over exercised or you've sweated a lot or you've been out in the in the sun and sweated a lot because your mineral balance is is um not regular it's it's off kilter so it's a real easy way of, of replacing that locally as well um and you can get those kind of on amazon or boots the chemist or so on but yeah that is a little whistle stop tour of magnesium um if you found this useful then please give me some likes and hearts and um, if you have any questions or comments then please add them in the comment section but thank you once again for listening